Steve. How were your summer holidays in the Caribbean? Hi, Cindy. They were great, thanks. We did have one very scary experience, though. Oh no! What happened? Well, one morning I felt like doing something a little different, so my brother Alan and I went to the harbour and bought tickets to go on a scuba diving trip. That sounds enjoyable. Well, it was to begin with, at least. I remember feeling really excited as we got on board the boat. It was a warm, sunny morning, and I couldn't wait to get started. So, what happened next? Well, the boat soon reached a spot far from the coast, and we all put on our wetsuits, masks, and oxygen tanks. Then it was time to go underwater. You can't imagine how beautiful it was, Cindy. Alan and I swam through a beautiful coral reef with thousands of multicolored fish all around us. Actually, we enjoyed it so much that we stayed underwater far longer than we should have. Oh no! Don't tell me that the boat had gone by the time you came back to the surface. That's exactly what happened. I don't know why, but for some reason the boat left without us. We could see it in the distance, but nobody could hear us shouting. Oh, how awful! It was. We felt so scared alone in the middle of the ocean, and our mobile phones were on the boat, so we had no way to call for help. What on earth did you do? Well, we had been floating on the surface for around an hour when we heard a helicopter above us. The captain of the boat had realized that there were some passengers missing, and he had called the emergency services. So, what happened in the end then? We both started waving and shouting, and the helicopter saw us. A rescue worker climbed down a rope and carried us up to safety. I've never felt so relieved in all my life. Wow, that's an amazing story. I know. I'll never forget it. I'm just glad there weren't any sharks around when we were in the water. I guess we were lucky to survive.